Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Louis. Welcome back. Um, today we have a different format. We're going to do something different than the usual. We're going to do some investigation on the Hero Wars mobile application regarding performance issues. These are uh, not that recent. They have been plaguing the application for a long time now, I would say more than a year. Uh, but they just became more and more pronounced and occurring more often and also um, not only dragging the application with, with slowness, um, very mu much visible lag, but also uh, eventually crashing the application really often, uh, sometimes as often as uh, every 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, it just depends on the device. Uh, this is of course very, very troublesome for playing the game. And I wanted to do this video to so get a hand on this and try to understand why this happens and what I can advise to you guys and to the developers if they haven't discovered the reason why. So for this we're going to, to use two emulators. It's, it's going to be two Bluestack V5 uh, emulators. They are running on a Windows computer here. And they, they emulate the, um, the ARM uh, architecture for Android which uses Android actually, <laughs> these emulators use Android. And we're going to check uh, um, on a few very uh, subtle differences on the surface, but underneath they have much more to say. So we're looking at one version 32 bits and another version 64 bits. This may not say uh, much to you, but the fact is that the 64 bits under Windows will let me use more RAM more than 4 gigabytes of RAM and also uh, also very important uh, the actual game might be more optimized for 64 bits processor and even 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 some of the android mechanics might be a bit more uh, more optimized for that and who knows maybe there's even uh, uh, stability issues running on, on 32 bits uh, processors we don't know <laughs> but we will discover a little bit just a little tiny bit so i have here um, I have here, let me try to get this outputting, that's funny, it's not outputting, not outputting anything, <laughs> unexpected. Um, maybe we can, okay, there, there we go. So we have here, um, we have here one one of the emulators and this one well you cannot really see here because it doesn't show anywhere I suppose I need to do a different capture but this one is the 32-bit version uh, we actually can check see here something on the on a terminal you cannot install um, you can install on a, on a, on a any Android uh, terminal application that will give you access to to for example a bash prompt a bash shell where you can type some commands, some Linux commands, because Android is also Linux, it uses the Linux kernel with some adaptations. And perhaps, perhaps we can see a little bit about, let's try to also, where can we increase the font size? That would be interesting. Um, where, maybe here? Ah, oh, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to actually change the settings for this, but it doesn't matter. It's minimally visible. Anyways, we can see here that this version is already running. I'm sorry, it's so small for my for my eyes. Is already running a version of of a uh, version 4.9 kernel, <coughs> and with the command out output above we can see that it, it has uh, roughly 4 gigabytes of RAM. It doesn't actually um, it might not be not be able to use the four the four the full 4 gigabytes of RAM under Windows due to Windows limitations. I really wanted to check the, the font size but I don't know. Um it doesn't matter. But we, we have an idea now already that this is the 32 bit version just by looking at the, the RAM here. And afterwards, I will I will just make a, a more panoramic view of both windows, so you you get what I what I mean. And now we're going to jump to jump over to the um, 
to the 64-bit version of the emulator. Or might I say it's just an instance because you can make multiple multiple uh, instances of the same emulator. And now I just need to have the screen updated somehow. But this uh, capture doesn't always work. It's funny. Maybe I have to launch the actual game. I suppose I need to okay. I was al almost <laughs> resorting to the to another method. Uh so now we have the the, the terminal as well and we can do uh you name here and we will see it's also a kernel 4.9 in this case just a slightly uh, more recent version 4.995 and the other one was 4.931. Okay? Um we can see here x8664 and I wasn't sure this was going to show up like this um, but on the other uh, um, Android system we had i686 I'm not sure I can now show this again that easily but um, yeah, this kind of updates really slow I'll just now switch to a different type of um, capturing let's capture the full Maybe the full man, I'm a bit lost with this. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I didn't came completely prepared for this. It doesn't update as often as it should be. It's weird. <coughs> Yeah. So, anyways, w we're gonna now try to simplify this a little bit. So we have here on this system eight. So the sixty-four version, we have six. We have uh, eight gigabytes of RAM. We have a slightly newer kernel. Uh, that wouldn't be the major trigger of issues, I would assume. And we we have. Um, we have some processes running. You can see here, uh, not really much, just Termux, the the terminal application, and and the top command, which I just ran to actually check what's running in the box. And uh, we we could see here ab above that this is actually um, perhaps not a fully virtualized system with the, with Bluestacks. So I actually thought this was uh, a, an um, an arm an arm emulated system, but it actually might be just a peri virtualized because um, what we are doing here is emulating desktop systems. Most desktop systems they run uh, x86 architecture, and so in this case variant 64 bits. Uh, with this information, so we know we have um, very slightly different kernels. Uh, in theory, very slightly different uh, image for for this Android system between one and the other, and, and one is running 64 bits, and one is running 32 bits, and one is running with 8 gigabytes of RAM, the, the 64 bit one, and the other with 4 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, now with this, it comes it comes to mind uh, a few things. We will measure what memory we have. Uh, before we start the game and what memory we have after we start the game and then we will s click around and see the the differences in speed and the lag and see how much memory we are consuming so I have prepared now both systems I'm gonna clear here and we will switch now to the 32-bit bit version, which is the, the, the one we want to control against. So the 64-bit version will be the control group. And we will launch the game now. Right? So now we have it running in the background. Any any second now it will supposedly appear here. Alright. There it is. And we're gonna do a typical thing that people do when they come to the game. So 
we're going to go check the daily missions, the, um, the special events, we're going to check on the airship, and um, we're going to check on the campaign, or maybe just look on, uh, on some stuff we can quickly grab even without going to the campaign. Then we will check also the merchant. So these are all typical checklists we do every day. Then we will check on the guild, uh, and we will see and Heroes Way as well and see the difference in performance. So first thing, we go here in the daily quest. I've done most of them by now. It's quite late here. We will check here as well the the missions, the um, special events. I mean, well, we also can can check on the mail. There's nothing there, but just to check because that's something we check every day. Uh, we will see now energy refills because we often will, will do that uh, sometime in the day. Uh, we will check the airship as well, as as said, but not really anything here to to start. But we can click just to load something, just to start getting the the feeling of the slow game more and more. So now we go to the merchant and we click around and see what's available. All right. Let's just do the the things we do every day, like like all these shops here, and then the theater. We we don't really, I would suppose, go there often on the other shops. Okay, done that. We can also check here on the theater. Done. Uh, we can check here on the chat. Just open without exposing much, and and we already saw a little bit lag there. Now we're going to click on Heroes Way, and then we're going to go to to the guild. Right, so this is where uh, a lot of lag has been introduced lately, uh, recently. Um, the latest two updates, the one for for uh, I would say the three latest three latest more changing updates. So the latest one for for the new competition for Guild War and Global Championship. The one before was the slightly update to to Heroes Way to introduce. A little bit different visuals. I, I would say that I think there's yeah there's the um, the shop button here that didn't exist. We noticing now now some some drag, and also introduced the the tiny shop we we saw there on on the merchant, and then before that the the actual Heroes Way uh, new feature update. That's when the the lag really started to hit the game uh, a lot. If you are before that, I, I would believe there was also a, a point in time where the where the performance, yeah, performance was really bad. For example, when they were doing all these anti-aliasing on fonts, and then they quit doing that and did some other changes, I think, and that improved a lot the performance. But since then, with the Heroes Way, uh, it it dropped again and then dropped again with the new update on the Heroes Way and then dropped again with uh, Global Championship. So those three updates, I would say, are the bigger cause of the issues right now. And let's go look in the guild. And we see the screen. It's supposed to take one second, one second and a half, two seconds mo most, at most. It took like four seconds. We're looking in the merchant here. Right. We we go here in the, in the competitions. Competitions traditionally been uh, really slow on the old CSW format, now Global Championship, also slow. Uh, in the Guild War, it used to be reasonably fast. You, know, you can go here in Defense and pick your teams. I'm not going to click on Champions of the Guild, but you should know that these ones, uh, these menus are, are quite more intense because they load up all the, all the all the teams of your Guild, but especially slow on CSW. And there's no surprise, it's, it's as slow or more slow than, <laughs> than before. I don't think it improved. Maybe it did, but who knows. So it, this is supposed to repeat for every uh, team in the guild. So you will see uh, lots of images and that will drag, I suppose, the system. Now we see lag is hitting a little bit there, a little bit here. Uh, we go back. We forgot something, we forgot the dungeon, we go back again, we go in the dungeon. So also, these things are often something we uh, we end up doing here and there. Ch change around the screens, go back, forgot, go back again. All right, so we have this. I already did the dungeon today, so 
I'm not, I'm not even doing files. You know, you already see some lag, but I'm not even doing files. We have the heart of power here. Let's just open and load up some, some of these screens. And there we go. We close. We close. We have the elementals. The elemental... Uh, forgot what it is. This is the place where you do the <laughs> artifacts for the titan. So I'm just going to open here the, the altar, because you, you might you should do or uh, often do or whatever open this every day to to open it to, to summon to summon something we also have the circular summoning we might be doing you might be doing actually or you might not be doing every day and i think that's it for the most important things here we, we, do, we, are, we aren't going to check on the upgrades for the titans just you know just show it out yes. literally wanted to go in here um because privacy well we can just look in here on, on in rewards okay so just to look a little bit uh, uh further in screens but i'm not gonna go inside the specific memberships there all right so we we, we did a bunch of those screens in the other section we're gonna go here in the, in the tower and we're gonna go here in the arena it's i guess it's gonna show some up show up some names but oh well and and to complete, to complete, we're gonna go in the inventory, right? And the al also the, the the hero, the hero list screen, table, <laughs> grid. <laughs> so, some stuff, some icons, lots of resources loading, and now we click also on the heroes, and we can see more more resources loading. I'm just gonna scroll up and down. There we go. Lots of lag, laggy, 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 laggy. All right. By this point, I would say it won't take much to crash. Um, maybe just f a one fight or two fights. Uh, I already did something I didn't want to do because I might have clicked two times and it just did something I didn't want to do because of the lag. And now we will check on the memory consumption. So now we have one gigabyte of RAM being used out in the system. Um, this is kind of weird, but we have actually. Uh, we have one gigabyte being used. We have only uh, roughly 450 megabytes free. That means probably these two gigabytes here are being, are being cached by the game or some other Android functionality that is capturing uh, resources and keeping them in memory. So we only see um, ah crap. This doesn't really uh, show us much. I thought it, it could show us without um, admin privileges. We would show us the actual application memory consumption, but I suppose we cannot see that easily. But anyways, we have an idea. We only have two applications running, the terminal and the game. We have four gigabytes of RAM and there's only 500 megabytes free. So where are the other three and a half? And we have a clue, one gigabyte currently using, being used probably by the application and then about two gigabytes of caches somewhere. All right, let's, uh, do, let's do some fights to to forcibly um, close the application with a crash, all right? So, laggy, 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 laggy. We are running the application now for, I would say, about 10 minutes. And we just did a checklist that we do every day. And you see, not possible to play like that, like this. You, mm, you end up re restarting, just to do the checklist of everything you have to do every day. You end up restarting uh, the application a few times just to get all of it done all right and then you know you have to come back to the game multiple days so you will end up opening the game restarting the game another two or three times du during the day so i'll just gonna do whatever here it's just some random fight doesn't matter <coughs> And wow, <laughs> slow. <laughs> and it still needs to show up here. Anytime soon. Sorry, sorry guys, your, your names are popping up here, but I won't be showing any of your information, hopefully. 
And ah, now we have it, and let's just do whatever. Like, ah. I'm gonna do here some jet combination here, like a lot of people like. <coughs> and battle. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 seconds just for the fight to go up. Not much. Okay, not. It's just too slow. It just swallows up all frames. And you cannot watch the, f the fight in, f in maximum speed. It's not possible. I'm gonna repeat to get the stats and hopefully cause a, a, a crash. Maybe not. not I will try also to fight. These things are not really uh, that, that straightforward. Um, it just doesn't happen. I don't even know who won. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention. I think it was the right team. I don't know. Uh, who, uh, the right team was the jet team, I would say. Let's try now a Titan a Titan team. Someone fought me there, <laughs> but I didn't I didn't intend for that. I'm gonna write something there, just they don't waste time. Um and that's also a uh, something to test out. Okay, let's write. Just recording to see how slow it is. Just recording a video testing game. It's not showing in the screen. It stopped showing in the screen. I don't know if that's yeah, that's that's lag. <laughs> Damn! Uh, look at that. five seconds, eight seconds. I don't know. All right, let's do a fight. Ah, uh, we're gonna replace here Agnes with uh, with Eden just to try it out. I haven't done that in a while. With Titans, it usually takes longer. It usually uh, blocks more. And then I think even more with the Hydra. So, even contribute much to the video. And look at that, it's just freezing completely. So we have we have some samples from fights. Uh, I suppose now I can do some energy and I would say yeah let's go in the campaign hopefully further complicate complicate this Android's memory management and the game memory management. I already did a bunch of this, so I don't know. I will have to go around and pick. Uh, it's supposed the, the next... either the next fight here? Yes. Or the next campaign chapter. There we go. A little bit more. So I'm not really uh, managing to get the game to crash. Not this time, at least. Uh, sometimes it just takes, I don't know, random factors like amount of time running in the background, um, watching videos. I'm not going to reproduce those because I don't want to sponsor ads. Um, or just a combination of tasks. But we see it's already um, pretty slow. And let's click now on Hero's Way just to complete that section of our testing. It should be really, really slow now. And there we go. I have uh, the almost the desired effect. It didn't crash yet, but it's painfully slow. All right. Close. Let's check again on the memory consumption. And we see we have now exactly 1.2 gigabytes of RAM being used. Uh, our system is down to just uh, about 300 megabytes of free RAM. 
and we still have the two gigabytes in buffers in cache all right um theoretically this this will be available to android to manage so it will close applications to to free up uh, the memory so the memory can be reused it will depending on the type of applications we'll try to relieve the system uh, of uh, resources being used by those applications without stopping them so that uh, the memory can be free for other applications but some applications do the memory uh, management really bad and so what ends up uh, happening is that the, uh, the the system closes instead the application and I would say that most of the times that your application uh, or my application uh, crashes crashes and it's very possibly Android closing it because it cannot give it any more resources it just keeps asking for resources and you have more applications running and it has to make a choice so it closes the application we can maybe check that by running now the Play Store and do some whatever stuff here like this and that going in the settings and going back to the game and see if the game closed it didn't this time we go back to the the terminal and we lost some more memory but not enough to cause the actual closure so we would have to have something else I don't know game center might be heavy enough blue stacks whatever you can try camera go to the camera sure why not and uh, Chrome, yeah, Chrome. The memory hog. <laughs> we go back to the game. Oh, we didn't force the close yet. It's not too far, not too far. I didn't want it to take so much effort in this. Um, uh, we can open some stuff here. It's just opening random suggestions that they are giving me. Doesn't really matter. Let's see now. So something changed here. I suppose now the game has been closed. There we go. Right? Success. Game closure. So most of the time you are running the application on your phone, like like I don't have now right here, but this might happen. The, r the, the system runs out of memory, closes the game, and you have a crash or you switch to another application to do something, you come back and your application is already restarted. So now we're going to, to change and, and going over the 64-bit. Well, 64-bit versions of applications typically use a little bit more memory. We call that the overhead. So they might be, they might be spending more 10%, 15% of memory and maybe sometimes that's just 5%, but just that's just how it goes. So now we have the system here of uh, which is 64 uh, bits and we have just about the same stats as we had before when we checked this um, about the same uh, memory um, ah, I could also now check I'm gonna just read and you guys trust me right <laughs> on the 32 bit version we close all the applications and now we have about except the terminal now we have about 335 megabytes of free memory and this one we have 372 so just a slightly a slight over overhead of memory because of the 64 bits uh, architecture so now we open the game here and mind this is um this is a new a new a new um a new instance of the emulator so well what happened there <laughs> closed <laughs> a new um, a new virtual machine it's in fact a virtual machine. That's not fun. Let's open again. Hopefully this time work works. Um, yeah, I guess. Um, it's in fact a, a VM. And this was fresh installed. I, j I just had uh, configured my login with the Google account before starting the recording, so it's really fresh. And so we have opened it. I had opened the game a little bit and navigated a bit um, just to get the game to download all the resources and have all the resources ready, so 
the, the, the test would not be penalized for that. And then I closed, I cleared the memory, and now we have finally the game up and running. So we did the same things. We go in the daily quests, we go in the mail, we go on the special events, we check on the airship, we click on one of the expeditions going. Oh, how did it run? I didn't get to it, so it's okay. Close, uh, we check energy refill, because we don't do because we already did that. We're gonna check now on the merchant and check all these shops, exactly the same shops, all right? Uh, yeah, some soul stones to trade, and there, and we also check on heroes, but we didn't check that before, but we check now. And next up, um, oh, we did forget the Outland. So we're gonna do check the Outland now. So I will man and the masters. Just open, I'm a bit impulsive. Open and close. And now we jump to Hero's Way. Also, some slowness. Hopefully not too much. And now we go we go into the guild section. So we're now gonna ping all the things we were pinging before. We will check uh, the dungeon. The mind some some things I might not actually have clicked before, and uh, so they might take a little longer to load because of that because it hasn't downloaded the resources. But just to have an idea, <coughs> it seems really snappy. Without any uh, um, any weird lag, okay, not not a download lag, but a processing lag, right? We check this. We go here. Um, we get this greeting, of course, because we didn't have that before. Uh, loaded. Um, I'm not sure I clicked here, but we click now here on the altar. <coughs> I know we didn't click on the upgrades. And now we move to the merchant. We move to the circle of summoning. Now we go to the competitions. And we didn't check on the hydras, remember? <laughs> we didn't check those. We're gonna click here. There. And here. And there. Right, <coughs> so without compromising much of my guild um, private things, <laughs> all right. Uh, next step, uh, we clicked also here, but we didn't click on the video, right? All right, and then we clicked also on the tower, all right, and then we clicked on the inventory, so. Load. It's downloading stuff, so it's slower. It's normal. But now we click back and it's faster, okay? And uh, we also clicked here on one of the arenas, right? Done. And we click on the heroes. It's also going to download resources, I suppose. We didn't actually click on one hero, but we click now, all right? So nothing really to see there. I'm, I have all the skins max, so no, s no. The surprise would be here. Whatever I have developed on the other categories, but everybody knows we no need to develop all the skins for Kira. And um, now we go in the chat again, all right? We click here on the training quickly without showing too much and let's do with a titan challenge again um i might add does it make difference start i guess to really make the diff the, the test we should we should make a, fi a real fight not just the the previous so whatever whatever now like that and uh, yeah like that <coughs> Now, can we see, can we watch these on the text? Alright, so we are seeing some
something here a pattern so maybe um, maybe you really need much more memory and maybe the game is more optimized for 64-bit uh, processors right so that's already uh, two possibilities here because other than that they are about the same okay the same application version for ear wars uh, we have the same I can see here the same uh, BlueStacks version for both because you only install and you have uh, both types of, uh, of VMs uh, 64 and 32 bits so the difference is, is only really on the image the kernel and the fact that one architecture is 34 and the other 64 bits and the difference in RAM one can have 8 gigabytes and the other 4 gigabytes let's do now the Titan fight let's do something more more uh, weird like a more defensive and then like that just for fun <laughs> we all play for fun right so I uh, and our our video has extended for more than 30 minutes but uh, I knew this was going Okay. It exits quickly. We're doing now a replay of one and then the other. And then we're going to click back on Heroes Way, we're going to click back on Guild, and we're going to crawl around and all these things. To see if so, no issues. Fully played at, at, at X4 speed. Um, and uh, and this one, yeah, this one we repeat. So, no lag, at all. All right. Uh, so now here's way. It seemed really fast. I'm gonna do even this. No, it's it's just snappy. No issue at all. No issue at all. Look. No problem with speed. Fits. Nothing. Just a slight delay here. Other than that, jump to the shop. No problem. Still snappy. Um. So now now the the guild, yeah. And uh, why not? We're gonna look in the hydro. We didn't look in the other in the other test, but we're gonna look now. And uh, uh, can we repeat fights? I don't. I don't recall if we can. Yes, we can. So I'm gonna look for one of my fights here. Um, so of course it was not on the elder, but in on the ancient likely. And the uh, yeah, I like this one. Okay, and repeat this one. Really not much to say, it's still snappy. Load some more stuff here. Load some more stuff there. Uh, scroll, a click. I'm sharing my stats, but it doesn't matter. Right guys, I, <laughs> I have the dust that um, the game is probably either or both more optimized for 64-bit processors and or needs a lot of memory so we see now it reached 
1.4 gigabytes of RAM used for sure. I mean, okay, <laughs> we're doing something wrong. Here we already had 300 used by running applications in the system. But we can still safely say about about 900 megabytes or 1 gigabyte of RAM used for the game on the 64-bit version, whereas in the other uh, version, the 32 bits, it was 200 megabytes less. Um, at least with the tests that I could do here. So that would put it at around 800 megabytes of RAM. So if you have a phone like I have here, like this phone here, I see, I believe 3 gigabytes of RAM, that is a problem for you. Because you won't have um, probably enough memory to run all the things you run. So I'm actually... I'm actually going to check here without without uh, um, checking the, the phone stats on on the internet. So I don't really it doesn't really show here on any screen the the memory. But I can do the same. I can install a terminal. I already have installed a terminal, so that's even better. And I can do the free command minus h for human readable. And I have here. Mm, I suppose it's better to put it landscape so it doesn't cut the text in half. Let's landscape. There. <coughs> so. <laughs> so I have in this system, uh, in this phone, 3 gigabytes of RAM. And I have currently 1.7 1 being used plus about 600 megabytes in swap. Swap is um, fake memory, so the file system being used as extra memory to compensate for lack of memory. So this one is as lack of memory actually. It cannot run everything that is on it and that's why the application gets a forced close or crash every now and then. And on the Android we could see, on the Android emulator, we could see the same thing happened because we didn't have enough uh, memory likely or also maybe the 64-bit architecture does matter. But we see here we have almost 3 gigabytes in cache, we have 1.4 in the system and the application, your wars, mobile, and uh, leaving 3.6 gigabytes of real memory free out of a total of 8. So um, you can see you need more memory. <laughs> Either way, regardless of the 64 bits, we, we really need um, extra memory. So um, I guess with this it completes it completes uh, all I had to investigate here. Uh, it became really obvious that I'm going to to destroy this 32-bit uh, VM and and just use the 64-bit VM. This is a new functionality on BlueStacks uh, on BlueStacks 5. So I I think not even on BlueStacks 5.0. But in 5.5 five or 5.4, five they might have had a, the 64-bit. That's what I, I remember anyways. I'm not going to check now, but that's what I think. Uh, most phones today will be 64-bit, so I don't think that will affect that much, being that the most likely issue is actually RAM. Um, we didn't saw any any real slowdowns on the 64-bit with the, with the extra RAM allocated. So I wouldn't say it's lack of processing power from the pr from the CPU, the processor, um, lack of I/O or any other of those reasons. This would be effectively RAM memory issues. The application grew a lot, uses more RAM, more memory, and your systems are not feeding it enough memory. And Android is force closing it. I would say the same happens in iOS force closing the application when it doesn't have m any more memory to, to give it. So it just closes it. Um, with that said, uh, next year's developers, uh, you guys need to find ways to, to optimize the application so that it uses less memory. So maybe even think about something you can do. Number one uh, would be, um, I would say, implementing a way uh, to select if you want to have um, let's call it a high hand and a low hand or budget uh, configuration like 
And we can we can give it multiple names. We can give it multiple meanings. But in essence, maybe. And let's also look at one other thing, uh, just slightly. We, c we can do something else, so some another video about that another time. But uh, the application um, does really uh, download a lot of resources, and that might be a problem if you are on mobile, uh, on four G, five G, two G, and three G. <laughs> so maybe you can even expand this a bit, like an option. I already closed, but an option in the settings. Okay, I can actually just open it quickly while we are talking here. An option on the set. Oh, actually, it's already here. So, uh, an option here on the settings. So, what I'm meaning is here in this screen. Um, an option here to allow. Um, to allow to. Conf actually, it's not really here. It's uh, this one here. <laughs> Sorry, an option here. To determine uh, if your system is capable of using more RAM or not, and then with that, you reduce or increase memory usage. So, I don't have four gigabytes of RAM or uh, six gigabytes of RAM. So, uh, uh, give me less, less demanding resources, smaller images, more compressed images. Um, make make. Uh, I don't know. Make make the this is uh, really not one one thing about type of device, but make the game cache cache less things less time. So if you I don't know open if you go from one screen like here I'm in one screen I go back one screen I go in the merchant then I go in in the airship. Maybe by now, after three, three screens, it should have cleared the, the memory used by the settings screen, right? Th this is just an optimization, optimization that you could put. You could have an option for that there. Um, it really could be, uh, could be that. It could be the uh, low, uh, low budget, low, low, um, low capability budget device. Um, check here, and it clears clears the memory you use when you jump around screens after two or three screens it, it clears the the the, um, the oldest screens okay the memory used by them and the other one would be um a, a mobile tick there so that or low bandwidth tick there so that it downloads smaller resources or more conservatively so that you don't waste your 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 bandwidth for your month right um, but also to take less space on your device because maybe your device also has uh, storage problems if you have little space so two I think really important and nice suggestions here to take in consideration for the developers to, to implement possibly I would really uh, uh, love to see these around uh, for example I would immediately configure my phone to mm, to, to use less 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 RAM less memory okay and every time I go out with the phone I would I would enable the the mobile maybe you can even check I'm on mobile connectivity I'm gonna download less and also a third a third thing when you start up the game but so when it's loading I'm gonna close and reopen so now when it's loading right here Anytime now, <laughs> now. Um, maybe it could check. Hey, I'm on 4G connection. Let's put a pop-up here saying, "Hey, dude, you are on 4G. Um, mind that, because you just installed the game, or because we just updated the game, or because you cleared the data of the game and now we are downloading. Mind that you are on 4G, and we're gonna suck all your data. So, <laughs> either close the game." Or mind that, or or uh, you know turn on Wi-Fi as soon as possible. Just a warning there. Why not? Right? Three nice suggestions. I'm going to talk about these in a future video, I suppose. Uh, <coughs> but really, the the more important ones here: memory, memory, con con memory consumption, and conserving it, and 
and you can also control that with the amount uh, of resources you download and the size of those the quality of those the resolution all of that can be can be can be can be tuned down by using some checklists there okay mobile and um, mobile and uh, and the low budget device. Okay, that's so so uh, logical. I think. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, why not give me a, give me a like, a thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you like watching these videos. Uh, these are this is the first, but <laughs> any of my videos. And um, and I hope to see you guys around. <laughs> so take care and have a good night. Or a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>